Hey, how you doing everybody? My name is Cherubo and welcome back to Girls in Glasses. Let's get right back into it. Good morning, senpai. Good morning. The president calls out to me as I reach the school gates. Morning. Morning. Thank you so much for yesterday. Same. I had a lot of fun. Oh yeah, what are you doing for lunch, t lunch today? Lunch? I was going to eat in the student council room like all these. I see. Is it fine if I get something from the store and come meet with you? Come meet with you? You'll be willing to join me? Please, by all means. Cool, cool. Now that... Hmm? When I look around, I see everyone staring at us. S sorry if I stay here talking to you, it'll look, it'll, it'll look like you're slacking on your job. I totally forgotten it was her duty to greet all the students that came to school. <laughs> uh, e yes, I suppose so. Realizing everyone's gazes are on us, the president, the president awkwardly looks away. Well, see you at lunch. I shall be waiting for you. I shall be waiting for you. She doesn't want to stop talking though, she wishes to be with us. Okay. Lunch break. As promised, I head to the student council room once again. I'm coming in, president. Knock knock. Oh yeah, it is the same uh, student council room. Made uh, my, my girlfriend and girls in glasses <laughs> the same one, which means we go to the same school. Senpai, you really came. Of course. Took some time to get my food, though. I see. I always bring my own lunch, so I don't know how it is in the cafeteria. She sits down and opens her lunchbox. Mind if I sit next to you? Next to you? Be my guest. Let's just get settled in here now. Now. Fufu, Senpai, you sound like an old man. Huh? I do? And wow, your lunch looks delicious. My mom made it for me. Shall we start eating? The president starts going through her lunchbox. I pull out my own food and start eating. Oh yeah, can you cook, president? Me? I'm not the best at it, but I can cook. Really? I'd like to try your food sometime. It's nowhere near good enough that I could let you try it, senpai. Nowhere near good enough? What, is it like the school lunch's mystery meat or something? It's not that bad. <laughs> we gotta blush in. <laughs> I was just kidding. So, was there any dish that's your specialty? Dish, that's your specialty? Let me think. Mm, hamburg steak, I would say. You gotta be, you gotta be a pretty good cook if you can make hamburg steak. I can't even make that. You cook, senpai? Yeah, I'm basically living alone, so I know how to cook a little. Alone? I thought you said your family lived in Sakurahane. Ah, uh, did I never tell you? I'm technically living with my dad, but he's away on business trips for most of the year. I see. Hence why I'm basically living alone. I don't think my dad will be back from his current t trip until summer. I understand now, so, I understand now. So, do you have a do you have a specialty dish as well? Specialty dish as well? Sorry. Or is mystery meat your specialty? <laughs> so I really look that bad at cooking. <laughs> Fufu, an eye for an eye. And a hand for a hand. What was it? Uh, an eye for an eye. An evil for evil. Like that uh, anime <laughs> code breaker. I think there was a middle part, but I forgot. Sorry. Okay. Anyway, let me think. Do I have a specialty? Hmm. While I'm thinking, the intercom suddenly crackles. A voice asking, asking the president to head off to the student staff room is broadcast to the, the school. Miss President Katomi, please head to the staff room. You are needed immediately. Alrighty then. I wonder what they. I wonder what they want. I haven't even finished eating lunch yet. Why not finish before heading over? I'd love to, but they say say it was urgent. Urgent. She puts the lid back on her half-eaten lunch and gets up. I'll eat the rest. When, I'll eat the rest when I get back. If you say so, I'll be waiting here. I'll be waiting here. Okay, I'll be back as soon as I can. She trots off to the staff room. Hope my voicing is right. I think it is. Not too sure. <laughs> Sorry. She sure is taking a long time. A long time. It's been 30 minutes since she left. Lunch break will be over soon. I need to get back to the classroom soon myself. Just as I'm about to open the door, I look back at the president's lunchbox. Probably shouldn't leave it there. I put it inside the fridge and head back to my classroom. Nice. Yeah, good move. 
during class. The president's still in my mind. The entire lesson goes in one ear and out the other. She's as straight-laced as they come, so I doubt she's in trouble, but... I guess I'll stop by the student council room again after school. I glance out the window, but... Okay. The, we the weather's perfect, but for some reason, the sky looks gloomy. Mmm, interesting. I'd actually rather be cloudy. Maybe I just want the redder weather to reflect this ominous premonition that I have. What is it? Oh no! I head straight to the student council room once classes end. Sen Senpai. The president looks down. I put your lump I put your lump- Sorry. I put your lunchbox in the fridge. Ah, uh, thanks. She also doesn't look- She also doesn't look completely here. President? Um, did something happen? Uh, is it something you can't tell me? Yeah. No, it's not a secret or anything. She doesn't elaborate. Sighing, I take a seat next to her. <clears throat> President. Senpai. Senpai. Sorry, but could you please go home for today? Huh? Please. Hmm. <sighs> No, I'm not leaving. I can't just leave you like this. Senpai, please, I'm begging you. Fine, but at least tell me what happened. If I do, will you leave? Yeah, if there's really nothing I can do to help, then I'll leave. Okay. She starts talking in a de dejected voice. To sum it up, this is basically what happened. At the start of every year, the student council holds a meeting with the presidents of all the clubs to decide the budget allocations for the year. Are they shutting down the student council? The student council. Each club gets a budget form to fill out. Then a week later, those forms get submitted. That that meeting was supposed to have happened last week, but the president had forgotten to schedule it. None of the clubs submitted their budget forms because they never got them. It's probably too late to hold that meeting today. You could do it tomorrow, couldn't you? Couldn't you? I can't. The clubs have all, all have different schedules, so I can't call them up on such short notice. I need to inform them at least a week in advance to get everyone. A whole week. In other words, she would have informed everyone two weeks ago, so they could have had a meeting last week. That would have been right after she was elected. How is anyone supposed to keep track of that? Anyone? It seems to me that the school's current system is more 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 at fault than the president. Sorry. For now, all I can do is call the presidents in for a meeting next Monday, at the earliest. Yeah, it'll be a bit late, but it shouldn't be a huge problem, right? Hmm. No, it still wouldn't solve it anything. What do you mean? All of the budget forms are supposed to be submitted by the end of this week. Because the student council needs to organize it all, and then forward it to the dean's office before next week. If it's not sitting on the secretary de secretary's desk by then, it'll ne negatively sorry it'll negatively impact school operations. This is all because of student council. No, because I made a blunder. I don't think so. If anything, it's the school's fault for pushing such a critical task onto the student council. That just shows how important the student council is at this school. The council wields large amounts of authority overall. But at the same time, it also has a large amount of responsibilities, which is why it'd be a big deal if the school decided to take over the res <coughs> sorry. It'd be a big deal if the school decided to take over the responsibility of balancing the club budgets instead. Instead, because then the student council's power would be weakened a little, right? It'd be nice if it was only a little. The student council is in charge of organizing school-wide events, and even has a say in what the regulations are. There's so much you can do with this school as a student that you can't do anywhere else. That's why people aspire to be president. However, if I keep messing around like messing around, messing up like this, the student council here will become nothing more than a figurehead like other schools councils. It's possible first years may even lose the right to run for president. Huh? But this year was the first time in history that it ever happened. <clears throat> That's precisely why the teacher told me that maybe it was too much to let a first year run the student council after all. But that's... But that's... I wanna punch... <laughs> I wanna punch whoever told her that! What punch? <clears throat> I can't believe anyone could say such a thing. And I can't imagine how the president must have felt being told that. President. 
I clenched my fists and looked the president in the eye. <clears throat> we just have to get those budget forms into the dean's office by the end of this week, right? Senpai? I'll, distri I'll, distribu I'll distribute the forms to all the club presidents today. B but it's a really complicated form. We have to gather everyone and explain how to fill it out, or... Leave that to me. Let me borrow your computer real quick. Huh? Wait, senpai... I boot up her computer and start searching for the previous student council logs. Yeah, we're doing this. What are you trying to do? Just let me try something. Yeah. But... President, can you find the budget manual for me? Uh, okay. I think it was on this shelf? Counted by my overbearing attitude, the president starts flipping through folders. Oh yeah. Ha, found it. Ha, found it. I pull up the management logs from last year. I open up a folder lab <laughs> labeled Club Budget Form 16. <clears throat> Perfect. Perfect. I print out all the forms and then go hunting for the ones from the year before last. Once I find them, I print out all the budget forms from that year as well. Around the time the president's come back, I finish printing four years worth of forms. Alright. <clears throat> Senpai, here's the manual. Oh, nice. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. I skim over the manual. These those these forms definitely are pretty convoluted. However, looking over the forms for the last couple of years, it looks like there's almost no difference in how they've been filled out. For the most part, anyway. Most part, anyway. If we give them copies of last year's form along with this year's, they shouldn't have too hard a time figuring it out. But just in case, I should also type up a simplified set of instructions. I pour over, pour over the manual and type out only the essential points. Yes! Hmm... <clears throat> yeah, we're doing this! Alright. <sighs> Finished. Alright, I print out multiple copies of the abridged manual, <laughs> abridged manual and start bundling them together with everything else. Each set has the new instructions, the past four years of entries for, for the club, and a blank budget form. If we do it like this, no one should have, should have any trouble getting their forms in on time. Amazing. It hasn't even been an hour. Alright, let's go hand these out. I'll get all the sports clubs. You handle the rest, President. President. Okay. Okay. Alright, we're doing this, fam! <clears throat> Off we go, then. Good luck. I go to a club, hand over the documents, and explain what they need to do. Rinse and repeat. Finally. Yeah! We did it. It's been a while since I did. Yeah, like that. Phew. That's all the sports clubs. <laughs> yeah. It is. The same gym from My Made Girlfriend, too. Or My Made Girlfriend has the same gym as Girls and Glasses. Whichever came first, I don't know. Is the president doing fine on her end? All the culture clubs are in the same building. She should, she should, be, finish, she should be finishing up by now if everything went well. Sorry. <clears throat> all right. Doing great. Senpai, senpai, welcome back. Ah, cheers. I finished all of my clubs. Clubs. I finished all of my clubs without an incident as well. Now we just had to wait for them to fill them out and hand them in. I asked all the clubs to have their forms in the student council post box by Thursday. Some of the presidents weren't happy about it, but most of them agreed. I'd say that's case closed. Yes, case closed, like that anime. Senpai. Hmm? Thank you. Thank you so much. It, it was nothing. It was nothing. The president bows deeply to me. It honestly feels a little awkward. Oh, deep bow. Very deep. Almost touching the floor. Um. Please raise your head, president. <laughs> okay. When she looks up, I notice her expression is still as, still as gloomy as before. What's wrong? We did it, didn't we? Shouldn't you be happier? Yes, well... Well, I would love to rejoice. I cannot. Huh? I really am grateful to you, Senpai. However, I realize now just how unqualified I am. That's not true at all. She looks down at her feet and starts heading for the exit. I'm sorry, Senpai. Senpai. But I need to go inform the teachers. Wait a second. Excuse me. President! She shakes my hand off and runs out, runs out of the room. <sighs> the student council room falls silent. I stand there dumbly, staring at the door. No! This can't happen! I end up leaving school without getting to properly talk to the president. 
When she came back to the student council room, she didn't say a word. I couldn't bring myself to call out to her either, so we both left school without speaking to each other. No! Did she resign? No! <sighs> what should I do? I told with the idea of joining the student council for a bit, but I got the feeling the president won't let me. She said she realized how unqualified she was. It's obvious that stemmed from my attempts at helping. But then what do I do? What do I do? Does she want to take that? Does she want to take on all the student council duties on her own? That's just crazy. She'll collapse from the strain eventually doing that. I know it. I have to do something. At any rate, I'm going to make sure I have a proper conversation with her tomorrow. I guess the rest is up to her. Oh man, this is crazy. And we're on to the next day. We're still on the Katomi route. Good, now we're locked in it. April 24th. Alright, here we go. I forget when the last day was for Iroha's route, but okay, anyway. Sorry. Once school ends, I head to the student council room. Once again, I couldn't find her during lunch break. Please, be here. Please be here. I put my hand on the doorknob, however. It's locked. It's locked. Is she still not in there? Oh no! Please, no, Iroha. Uh, Iroha, please, no, Katomi. I wait for an hour, but she never shows up. Guess I'll go home. No! No! This can't be happening! For the next few days, I still can't find the president. She's not at the front gate in the mornings, and the student council room is always locked. I debated going to visit her classroom, but I don't want to cause her any more trouble. I still make sure to stop by the student council every day. I stand there in front of the locked door, in front of the locked door waiting. Oh man, she never shows up. Oh no, 28 time skip. <laughs> oh no. On Saturday too, I head to the student council room. The door is locked as always, always, and the president's nowhere to be seen. I call out to her on the off, on the off chance she's inside, but there's no reply. It's a little past four now. Class has ended long ago. It's been three hours since I finished lunch and came here. Is she not coming today either? Guess I should go home. Wait. It's possible she'll come, he come here after finishing all her other work. Yeah, I sit down and lean against the wall. I think I'll wait a bit longer. Yeah, I think I'll wait a bit longer. Yeah, come on! <laughs> Another hour passes. It's five now. I guess she really isn't coming today. Isn't coming today. Just then, the student council door opens. She was in there the whole time? Uh, she lets out a gasp when she sees me. Uh, why? Hey, that's my- hey, that's my line. Why didn't you say anything? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's all she says before getting- going to close the door. Wait! I grab hold of the door frame and wrench it open. Yeah. Were you inside this whole time? The whole time? Mm -hmm. Yesterday too. I'm sorry. An apology as good as a, as, as good. <laughs> an apology is as good as a confession. As a confession. Sorry. I didn't think you'd be waiting this whole time. I was sure if I locked the door, you'd just give up and go home. But why? I realize it's a stupid question the moment it leaves my mouth. <sighs> I want to help you. I want to help you. <sighs> so please, don't avoid me like this. <sighs> her shoulders are trembling. I reach out to her, but she takes a step back. I'm sorry, senpai. Presi president? You don't have to help me anymore. Don't. Please don't say that. Can you at least tell me your re your reasons? Uh, just... Just don't trouble yourself with me. Please! She tried to step past me, but I grab her by the arm. Let me go. P let me go. Please. I said let me go! Her voice echoes through the hallway. She tries to yank her arm away. I put in a little too much force and end up pulling her closer. Closer. As I do so, I notice her eyes are filled with tears. Oh no! Oh, the CG! <laughs> no! Gotta get that CG. Ah, so good! Look at that! 
I mean, that's good. She's crying. <laughs> don't, don't look at me. Are you crying? <laughs> Why do you keep trying to avoid me? Do you really hate relying on me that much? <laughs> no reply. No reply. She's not even looking at me. The silence stretches on for a few minutes. Does she just plan on staying silent the whole time? Just as I'm thinking at that, she opens her mouth. Why? Huh? Huh? Why must you make me suffer so? What do you mean? What do you mean? I, I decided that I wouldn't rely on you, senpai. I swore that I would become a better, more organized student council president. That's what I'd manage on my own. And yet... Trembling, she squeezes out word after word. It's painful to watch. Please don't say something so sad. Please don't say something so sad. It's not sad at all. Then why do you look so lonely? Then why do you look so lonely? I do not. You're just imagining things. Liar, liar, liar. Look at how you're shivering. Look at how you're shivering. And you're crying too. <laughs> do you still want to tell me you don't feel you don't feel lonely? Aren't you in pain? <laughs> how come you always stuff you always stuff like that? She sounds angry now. You're a nice person, senpai. You're nice, but you're also insensitive and dense. Huh? You're right. I do feel lonely. And then why? Because... Huh? Because I don't want to be apart from you! Oh, get the confession! Oh, now I don't know which CG to use, but yeah, that's good. Why can't you understand? Like a burst dam, her emotions come flooding out one after another. No matter how much I tried to avoid you, I couldn't get you out of my head. It was so bad, I couldn't even get my work done properly. But even then, I tried to forget about you. I swore to myself that I'd manage alone. And yet, and yet you just keep, keep showing up here. Why? Why do you care so much about me? Why? Why? Good CG. <laughs> I got a little, yeah, okay. Sorry. Why are you so kind to me? It's your fault, senpai. It's because of you that I've become like this. Tears spill from her eyes and she sobs uncontrollably. President, I didn't realize my attempts at helping you had made you suffer so much. That really was insensitive of me. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's not it. That's not it. You really are dead, senpai. You saved me more times than I can count. I don't know where I would be without your help. That's not the problem. That's not what's bothering me. When I'm with you, work feels like so much fun. CG! <laughs> sorry, sorry, CG. Okay. The day you took me off was really fun. Fun, too. I was so happy when you invited me. But that's precisely why I need to get away from you. At this rate, I'll... I'll, I'll, I'll become just another norm normal girl. A girl unfit to run the student council. If I become normal, I'll start making even more mistakes. That's not the kind of person I want to be. I know what I'm saying is selfish. But... 
that? She breathes a long sigh. Senpai, Senpai, do you hate me now? She smiles self-deprecatingly. Surely you hate a girl as arrogant, er, arrogant and selfish as me, right? Not at all. Besides, there's something I want to ask you. What is it? What is it? This has been bothering me since she mentioned it. What's wrong with you being a normal girl, President? Uh huh? Actually, as far as I can tell, you already are a normal girl. Uh -huh. You like sweet things, and you get all excited at the amusement park. What are you, if not a normal girl? Again, 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 you, all, you say all these things that make me suffer. <clears throat> yeah, and I'm not done yet. And I'm not done yet. Even though you're just a normal girl, you still work so hard every day fulfilling your, du your duties as student council president. Sorry, messed that up. And for that, I really respect you. Respect you. Senpai. That's why I wanted to help you. CG. Sorry. No, that's not quite right. What I, what I really want to say is, I, I want to be with you. That's why I came here every day looking for you. What, 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 are, you, what are you saying? I'm, I'm confessing. Huh? President, no. Katomi. I want to go on, on another date with you. In fact, I want to go out with you. S senpai Even... Even if that's how you feel... I'm the student council president. That can't be changed anymore. So, I'd already given up... On being able to date you. So, why do you have to bring these kinds of things up? Now you're being selfish, telling me that. You're going to make me waver again. So you can't go out with me because you're the president? Is that it? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I thought about this a lot in the days I'd waited in front of the student- uh, instead of- inst sorry, in front of the council room. I have a request for you, the student council president. What is it? At the end of all my thinking, this is the answer I found. Let me join the student council. Let me join the student council. Senpai? Let me support you. I'll do everything I can to make sure you get to do your work perfectly. To make sure you can become the splen splendid president you dreamed of becoming. <laughs> we'll build up the student council together. Maybe there's some merits to an astute, lonely president. Austeri. Austeri. Maybe there's some merits to an austeri, lo lonely president. Austeri. But... I much prefer the council where we can laugh and have fun together. Huh. Senpai. President, please. President, please, let me help you. B -b 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 but... I know the two of us together can do a good job, can do a good job, and make this the most fun student council ever. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> so please, please, let me join. <laughs> if it's with you, maybe we really will be able to make make it that kind of wonderful student council but I I don't have the confidence I might get so happy being with you that I get carried away again that's why I'm joining the council that's why I'm joining the council mm -hmm. that way we can share the work I can take on half of your burden we'll share everything we'll share everything including the fun times. 
I want to fill this place with happy memories. Memories of the student council we made. I'll stick with you until the end. Till the end. Senpai. I can't believe you're willing to go that far. I... I think that way, that way is better too. It's so lonely. Running the student council by myself. The answer is simple then. The president nods. Senpai, are you sure? Are you serious about joining the council? Yeah, sure as I'll ever be. I'm even willing to get held back a year so I can run it with you until you graduate. If that's what it takes. Oh, that's a good one! Oh, that's good. Then, um. Ooh, get out of the blush. <laughs> CG! Okay, okay. Were you also being serious when you said you wanted to go out with me? Of course. <laughs> I love you, Katomi. I love you, Katomi. Huh? Will you go out with me? <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, we did it, fam. That was great. Ah, oh, that was so heartwarming. This game is great. Senpai. Hmm? You used my name just now, didn't you? Uh, um, uh, in retrospect, that was kind of embarrassing. Sorry, President. President. I don't mind. Vice President. Vice President? Vice President? Yes, I hope you're ready, because I'm going to work you to the bone. Work you to the bone. <laughs> Looking forward to it, looking forward to it. Then, let's get to work. I'll show you the ropes. She smiles. It's such a radiant smile that I can't help but smile back. Yeah, boy. <laughs> oh, that was great. <clears throat> I'm starting to get pretty hungry. We've been working for a good three hours. It's pitch black outside. What are your plans for dinner, senpai? Hmm, hmm, I was just gonna go home and make whatever, actually. How about we go out together, together to eat? Could you wait here for a minute? I nod and the president steps out of the room. A few minutes later, I'm back. Welcome back. What was that all about? What was that all about? I called my parents. I told them student council work was keeping me late, so they don't need to worry about preparing dinner for me. I see. So the date's on, then. Yes. But first, we need to finish the rest of this work. Yeah, you got it. Oh, this is awesome! It's around 10pm. By the time we finish the remaining student council work... <clears throat> I'm sorry, senpai. It's gotten so late. Don't worry about it. I forgot to check the clock, too. Too. But most of the restaurants will be closed by now. Yeah. More importantly, do you have time before the la- <clears throat> Sorry. More important- Yeah. More importantly, do you have time before the last train? Do you have time before the last train? Sorry. Hmm? Um... I should, yes. Yeah, I should, yes. I see. That's something, at least. <coughs> Sorry. I'm quite hungry myself now, too. Yeah, how about we grab something from the convenience store and go to the park or something? Okay. Oh, this is going great! Yeah! Mmm, this sandwich is quite delicious. And that's so. Mine's pretty good too. We're sitting on a bench, eating the sandwiches we got from the convenience store. It's spring now, but the nights are still cold. Yeah, I'm glad I got a hot coffee instead of... Huh? Oh, she's up close! <laughs> the president snuggles up against me. Pre pre president President? I can feel her body heat. It's a little warmer like this. True that. <laughs> True that. True that. We finish our food and, food and gaze up at the stars. Today, today, I lied to my mom. My mom. You did? You did? <clears throat> yes, I told her, well, that I wouldn't be able to make it home tonight because of student council work. 
Huh? I told her I'd stay at the dorms over at over at a friend's place. Then, um, uh, please don't make me spell it out. Uh, <laughs> even in the darkness, I can tell she's blushing. <laughs> well, tomorrow is Sunday. Something like this isn't so bad every once in a while, right? Exactly. <laughs> it feels like the mood suddenly got awkward. It's as if we both just got super conscious of each other. Probably because that's what happened. <laughs> um. Uh. <laughs> Senpai. Yeah. I'm cold. Yeah, it's cold. But, can we stay like this for a little while longer? She takes my arm in hers. The two of us entwine our fingers and continue looking up at the sky. It's cold enough that our breaths turned white. Uh, so romantic. Senpai? I'm really happy right now. Me too. Oh. Okay, fam. No. This is where I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> so here's what I'm going to do real quick. I'm just going to save real quick. <clears throat> okay. Well, that's all the time I got for this one, everybody. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like below. If there's any other games you'd like me to play, please comment down below as well. If you like this, if you'd like to see more, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bells. That would be epically appreciated of you. And as always, my name is Cherry Boy, and my goal in life is to make you smile. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye. See ya. Also, I hope you enjoyed my voice acting. Anyway, yeah, see ya.